Hello everybody, it's Andrew Roboto here, and welcome back to Five Nights at Warriors 3, version 2.0, where we will be taking on Night 6 in the daytime quest mode. Yes, we have finally made it to Night 6. I, I did, I'm just so happy that I made it that I thought the day would never come because of how many times I died in this and had to start over. But, we finally made it to Night 6, and without further ado, we will take on Night 6 and see what it has to offer for us. And I'm going to be doing night six in the second bedroom since that's, since that's also close to the hallway. Alright, so we'll search this area. Just so I can know what to do. And then for second bedroom, that's easy for me to do. You just have to keep pressing the camera, cams two, five, and six, to keep Wario back. And then avoid Donkey Kong, because he's a hallucination. Alright, let's do this. Time to search the house. Let's restore my health a bit. We'll search around the house more. I'll search the main bedroom, since that's which is where we did night four, and then night five we did in the hallway. Alright, we made it to night six, so I'm glad we did. See what else I can find. Okay, here's the shop. Good, because we're going to buy stuff real quick. There we are. Bought the potatoes. Now let's go back up to the second bedroom. Which I know we can make it. We just have to keep going this way. Okay, just keep going up this way, and then we'll get to the second bedroom. If we can make it, that is. Oh, we can make it. Sweet. We made it. Grandfather clock rings, 12 a.m. in the second bedroom. Ah, and the most annoying part about it is hearing the Christmas tune. God, was, was this game released around Christmas? That's just really weird. Alright, I'll mute the call since I already heard it. And I'm going to have to keep pressing the camera repeatedly to keep Wario back. He appears in 2, 5, and 6. Keep pressing that, and we'll be good to go. There's more. Okay, good. I thought I thought I was screwed. I keep thinking I'm screwed every time I don't find Wario, but he's just going on to another camera. Okay, so we just gotta keep pressing that, and um, he will, and that will keep him away. Okay, there's Wario in the hallway, so keep pressing. What? I thought he was gone. I thought he was gone. And I'll tell you this, you want to know a trick to not having to start over, guys? Um, you just exit out of the game and you start over again. Because it will, it will actually save your progress like before it hits game over. So here's a little trick from me if you want to know about it. Okay, we'll try again. Okay, so we just have to keep pressing the cameras. Um... Keep pressing 2, 5, and 6. Hello? 
Make the knife faster. Okay, good. You just have to keep pressing 2, 5, and 6, then I won't get killed. I'm gonna edit that part out. Where I got jump scared, just so you got. Just. Not where I got jump scared, but at the part where I, um, die. Okay, okay I'm keeping Wario back, so that's good. I just don't want to have to start all the way over, all, all over again. That's why I'm going to keep going and doing this. Because I just don't want to have to start all over again. Because I've made it this far to night six. And, I'm, and I've already don't want to have to start over again. Okay, just keep pressing the sound. And that will keep all your back. Tap him as many times as you can. And that will send him back around. Whoop. Wait, where is he? And I just ran out of camera battery. There's Wario. Good, okay. And I just saw Donkey Kong on the camera, so I had to switch. There we are. Okay, there's Wario. And I, and uh, yeah. And as soon as I'm done recording this video, I'm going to edit out the part where I have to, like, where I exit out and then start the game all over again, because... Oop, oh, gotta put up the camera. I just do not want to show that. I gotta recharge the camera. There's Wario. Okay, good. I'm going to edit the part out where I get jump scared because I just don't want you to see it in this video. Donkey Kong! Okay. Got rid of him. Good. Keep, keep pressing the camera. Okay, 5 a.m. We're almost done with night six. Oh, put the camera up. Oh, camera died. Gotta, gotta let it charge. And I'm probably gonna get killed here, even though it's 5 a.m. Alright, we beat night six. Sweet. We beat it. Whew, I never thought I'd beat Night 6 and Daytime Quest Mode, but we finally completed Daytime Quest Mode. Let's see what we get. Finally, I can get out of this house. Gosh, would anyone even believe me? If I told them what happened to me these nights... <sighs> it appeared Max was aware of this house being a strange one. I really hope he's okay. But judging from what his last phone call, I fear the worst. If he's alive, he might be able to tell me more about what he knows about all this. Okay. Oh, so we get to leave the house? Okay. Nice. Alright, so we're outside in the rain, which means I'm guessing we are leaving the house since we have completed daytime quest mode. So I'm glad we did. <sighs> Finally. I guess we just gotta keep walking. We can't pause the game or anything. We just gotta keep walking and we're leaving the house. Alright, so let's keep on walking. Let's see where we're heading to. <clears throat> where are we heading to? What's happening? Oh, we're entering a building. Secure Inc. Okay. Okay, so what happens here? Let's see. It's a recent entry in Max Peterson's diary. It reads, Oh dear, who could have done this? That old McCroy house has seemingly been empty and... 
Oops, I accidentally closed out of the game. Yeah, I, I apologize. I just accidentally X'd out of the game. I apologize, people, for what just happened. I was about to read an entry, and then I just X'd, X'd out of the game. This is the second time in the video I X'd out of the game. The first time I X'd out of the game was when... Was after I got jump scared. Like, I, I closed out of the game so that, like, I didn't have to start all over again. And there's a little trick for you. If you, want to, if you don't want to have to start this game all over again when you're on Night 6, exit the game and start Night 6 again. It will save your data. Take my advice. Okay, so we're entering a building, and this time for real, we're going to read the diary. I apologize for exiting out of the game. <laughs> Who the heck is that guy? It's a recent entry in Max Peterson's diary. It reads, Oh dear, who could have done this? That old McCroy house has seemingly been empty and haunted as some claims for years, and now a poor man has gotten a security job there. I must help him. I gotta call him right away to make sure he's alright. Sending someone over won't do much in this case. I just don't get it. Why are these weird events happening? The old warrior's factory got reopened and closed the very same week for God knows what reasons. Then they reopened the old warrior wear ink only for the same to, to happen there. A haunting, otherworldly feeling seems to be a common theme here. And now this Edward guy gets a job in our company to protect a house that doesn't need protection. It's like someone is playing the world's worst prank on all of us. People even claim these events ha are connected by some sort of curse. Christopher would have known what to do. I still remember our last phone call. He kept talking about how his understanding of time was evolving. He apparently kept hearing his own voice echoing through the halls of WarioWare Inc. Claiming another him was trying to contact him somehow. He told me it was hard to make out what the voice said, but he was able to make out the name Emma. Oh my, okay, who is that guy staring at the TV? Who the heck is it? I'm exploring the house, I'm exploring this building a bit more, and I see a person unconscious in blood in front of a, a TV. Like, don't, the let me guess, let me guess, is that Richard McCroy watching TV in his nightmare, or who is that? Let's read the next diary. It's another old diary by Max Peterson, it reads, The vanishing of James reminds me of my cousin and his disappearance. Oh, Christopher, where have you gone? You were always the smartest one of the two of us. After Warrior War Inc. was turned into ashes, Christopher spent all his days in the machinery of that building. He was lucky to be able to use the building while Wario and 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 the company went on to build their fast food factory. I hate the thought of it, but if the rumors are true, could Christopher be part of that group of the group that supposedly discovered dragon DNA and worked on DNA restoration and manipulation? Are they responsible for Wario War Inc. burning down? Did Christopher have a hand in this? Oh, and there's one more journal entry. There's three journal entries. Okay, let's see what the last one reads. And it's an old diary entry from Max Peterson's diary, which is the third one. It reads, I see they are closing down Wario's fast food factory. Again, understandable. But what happened to James? Why is the media so careless on this? He just vanished into thin air. I knew James. He wouldn't just disappear like that. Rumors has it that he suddenly vanished as he was talking to a new employee on the phone over at Wario's. Some say he was killed. But nobody has ever found. I hope he's out there still. He was a friend after all. And let me see. Alright, we read all the journal entries. Let's see who this is. It's the dead. Oh my god. It's the dead body of Max Peterson. Oh my god. That's Max Peterson. I know what happened. He got murdered. In this building, Max Peterson was murdered by Richard McCroy. While, while calling Edward Coleman about, about him at the house. Richard McCoy killed this man. Was Max P I guess Max Peterson was watching TV and then he got killed while calling Edward Coleman, who we play as in this game. Okay, let's see where this leads into. 
The door is locked. It seems impossible to open. Hmm. What else can we find in this room? Let's search the room. Okay, that's the dead body of Max Peterson, who's watching TV after um, he got killed. Okay, um, for those who think that is Richard McCroy right there watching TV, it is not Richard McCoy. It is Max Peterson. Richard McCoy kills Max Peterson in this game. Wait, what's that up there? It's some kind of telegraph. What is it? Okay, I can't, I can't seem to open that door. I don't know what to do. Okay, I guess we just I, I guess we can just leave since we I guess we can just leave since we investigated the house already. All right, daytime quest get unlocked. Daytime quest complete. There you have it. I apologize once again. I apologize for exiting out of the game. One, I was I was saving myself from having to start over, and two, I was I accidentally closed out when I was doing the ending of daytime quest mode. So I do apologize for that, people. And I and I don't know if I'm gonna edit those parts out, but I will let I will let you know if, if I'm gonna edit those parts out or not. But anyways, there you have it. And we unlocked we unlocked a new skin. Let's see who this one is. Uh the apple, okay, so we unlocked a new skin for completing daytime quest mode. We've unlocked a new skin. Alright, so anyways, there you have it. That is Daytime Quest Mode for Final Fantasy Warriors 3. I have completed all three modes. I've completed Standard Mode first, then Custom Night Mode, and then uh, Daytime Quest Mode. So anyways, um, we, will be we will be taking on Standard Mode once again in this Let's Play series, which is, which is what I'm going to do, but this time I'm going to go for the good ending. So the next couple days, I'll be doing Standard Mode once again, but this time we're going for the good ending. And basically, that the whole video, the whole mode will be a tutorial for you guys, for those who do not know how to go for the good ending. And um, I actually watched the Game Salmon's video on how to go for the good ending, and I'm going to do the same for this video. So thank you, Game Salmon, for that helpful tutorial. I did this off camera, like when I played the original version to see what it looked like, and it looked and it was a good ending. So. Anyways, um, yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell on my channel to get notifications on all my videos. I appreciate your support. See you in the next video. Goodbye.